today I'm going to show you some important commands in Dorico. You can get Dorico SE for free and you can create up to two players in Dorico SE. My focus is in the guitar parts. This software is incredibly capable yet it's very unintuitive when you first start out with this. Let me try and help you through the first steps. I actually bought the, the pro version. When you go into Dorico, you get something like this where you can select some things. I'm going to click on guitar because I want to show you one thing here. And you can set the time signature over here, preset that and, and the key. We'll just leave it set for C and 4-4 four, four time. So create project. Now you have your, your staff line. So what I want to show you right here is the first command that you should know. If control shift L brings up this menu. You will never find that unless you look through the documentation and uh, go through all the tutorials and stuff. Then the next thing you want to find is players, fretted instruments. And here's where you can find these things. And uh, it says notation and tablature, tablature only. So I'm going to say apply and then close. I'm on Windows and this is an old Windows machine. So uh, everything I'm referring to will be control this and control that. Uh, of course, it's going to be command on a Mac. Right now, I'm just going to give you some things, some important things just to help you get going because when you first start, you think it's like other softwares. It is in some senses, but it's got some very unique things. So I double clicked on this one to get this input thing. So now what, what I can do is uh, I, can, I can type a zero and it'll put in a note there. Now, let's say I want to do eighth notes. You can see that, that this is a quarter note. To set that to an eighth note, you think, okay, oh, I changed that. Let me just change that over here. And you click on this thing, nothing happens. So what you will have to do is undo. Let's try Control Z. That doesn't work. Okay, so, um, okay, well, let's see. Uh, let's see if I can, if you hit escape, you want to wind around something. Here's what you can do. Hit the delete key thing. Now I could have changed that. Let's, let's do this one more time. So you notice over here, it's got, here's a whole note selected. Now if I double click on this one, I'm going to double click down here. If I hit a note here, I'm just going to hit another mm -hmm. zero, that, that low E on, on, the, on that string right there. Oh, that's interesting. It's got quarter notes. All right, so how do I change that? Well, here's your first secret key. Here's what you do. Alt and Shift together. Hit the left arrow key. You notice how that changed? If I hit the right arrow key, you'll see that it is gonna, it's gonna keep getting bigger. So now it's a, it's a half note, a dotted half note, and you can finally fill up the whole measure with the whole note. So let's go back to what I want, which is eighth notes. All right. So now what you have to be careful with is look over here. You see, this is that's set for a quarter note. I'm going to click that to eighth note. So what you should do in Dorico is actually click on the screen first, set your what the type of note that you want, and then start typing the notes. All right. Now, when you're in the tab, you have to advance it yourself because it doesn't know whether you want to do chords or you want to do uh, uh, single notes. So now I'm going to go up. I'm just going to put zeros on here. Okay, so this, this is pretty much like, like other softwares. Okay. So now what I've got here is one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, I wanted to do six, eight time. So let, let's, let's take a look at that. I'm going to hit the escape just to get out of that. Uh, I'm going to select that, that time signature right there. Double click on it and you get something like this. So you could actually just type in, I could just type in six, eight time. There we go. So now we have six, eight time. All right, so I don't want to go through too many things this time. What I'd like you to do is to 
go to the website down below and get yourself a cheat sheet because the things I'm talking about today are on here and uh, a whole bunch more. These are the important things that I have found that I really need to, to know and I'm going to memorize. You know, you've got to memorize these keys. There are some interesting keys, the alt keys. Oh my gosh, they, they're so powerful, but you need to memorize these. Otherwise you'll be going through the menus and, uh, and driving yourself crazy. For now, let me just show you number one, how to add another player. So you can put another instrument there. And uh, the second thing is I'm just going to show you the, um, I'm going to show you how to create a, a different voice so we can leave one of these strings ringing. Like I want to, I want to change this one right here. And then the third thing is, uh, I'm just going to show you a few things about the alt keys with combinations of other keys. So let's, let's do that. So you want to go to setup setup and here's the first instrument right here the first player they call players and you can add another player right down there that little icon and um, let's say I want to add uh, the you go to fretted instruments if you if you want to put more guitars and then you got a, a bass guitar so I'll just put a four string uh, four string bass guitar okay add all right and then what that's done is it just put us uh, the clef and if I wanted to go and add the tab to that then I would have to go back and, and go control shift L and that gives us that option and here you've got you can have tab or tab only tab and notation so let's just show that one apply that one so that's only going to give the tab for the bass guitar and then you have to say close over here. All right. So now we've got our, uh, now we've got the bass guitar there. So actually, let me just go back. So I'm going to, I'm going to remove that. I'm going to remove that tab. So I'm, again, I'm going to go start up and I'm going to go bass guitar. If you want to get rid of this one, delete and it says player and, uh, delete the player and the part. So I don't care. So that's, that's gone. All right, let's go. So now I'm back into, if we go back into right, um, mm -hmm. what I'm going to do here is select this one. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'd like to do is to turn this, have a second voice where that, where that note plays underneath the other note. So you can let this, let it ring. So shift V. Okay. Now what's happened, you see the stem has gone down on the notation, on the standard notation, the stem has gone down. So we have a voice. So what I could do now is extend that note. And the way I'm going to do that is press down the alt and hold down the shift at the same time. Use the arrow key. So now I can make that note as long as I want, right? So this is six, eight times. So that's, that's actually three that fills up with that whole measure. And I could actually even go into the next measure. If I push like this, it's actually going to extend that note. You see, it puts a bracketed number over here. It could extend that all the way into the second measure. So that's how you change the, uh, the duration of the notes. And you can do that on any of these notes. Now you can get yourself tied in knots with this. And uh, there are some other alt key commands which are on this sheet. It's on uh, right now. It's on the second sheet. I'm going to be updating this. So get yourself a copy of this right now. This is hours of research here, figuring out how to do things. And uh, I've put all of them, the important things that I found on this sheet. And I'll be adding to this so that you can, so that you won't have to search for all this stuff. These are Dorico 4. SE secrets, the cheat sheet. So you will need this. And these will also apply to uh, Dorico elements too, as, as well as, uh, as well as the pro version. It's great software. Don't lose, don't pull your hair out too much. Just try the free version and get used to it. I'm going to put some more stuff out on this and uh, by all means go through the Dorico tutorials. Uh, they're really great. You can spend hours and hours there, but I want to help. I want to help to uh, get you up and running so you don't just kind of give up on it. 
So that's it from me this week. And as always, I'd like to say, stay tuned and I'll uh, look forward to seeing you soon. Mm -hmm.